Hey guys, and welcome to another vlog. It is Tuesday. Mom has only not worked for one day, two days technically now, um, not including the weekend because she doesn't normally work the weekends and I'm about to fall over. So, I um, just got back from the lake with Oz. I worked all morning. It's so difficult to work with Ozzy. I started looking up doggy daycares. They want him to be neutered. I need to figure something out. Um, so, the Noir Noir um, $2 Tuesday was one of our, actually I think it was, other than maybe Celestial, our best selling. Mom did not finish foiling all of those before she left because I didn't finish printing them. That's how many there were. Um, she got through most of the hollow and then most of the solids. Everything else wasn't done. I'm trying to do that now. <laughs> Um, I finished up Hustle and Rose yesterday. I'm printing and pressing because there's so much ink on those um, all black pages that they need to be pressed down a minute even though they're glossy before they go into the laser printer. So I'm working on getting enough of them printed that I can sit down and have a huge stack and start foiling. Um, I pick listed them this morning. I also went ahead and started packaging like today's $2 Tuesday items because they're clear foil that's been manufactured so they're ready to go. So I went ahead and pulled all invoices which was, oh my gosh, it was so many. And I separated them out by what I knew I could go ahead and do, what I needed to wait a minute to do, just kind of like sectioned them off. Um, so tonight, tomorrow, and then probably the next day will all be me trying to get through that um, $2 Tuesday. So I've not decided yet what I'm gonna do about new releases this coming week. It's supposed to be mystery kits, um, and generally I only put those up, so I think we're probably gonna go ahead and do those. I may go ahead and do them as a pre-order the way that I used to, so that they don't ship until like April 1st, and then if they are ready before that, I'll go ahead and ship them before that but I don't want to load more on myself and make it so that I'm just so stressed out because I'm already pretty stressed out. But if I do those so that they're pre-order, which isn't super weird since they're mystery kits, maybe I'll do it that way. Um, I also, like, I know already what we're doing for mystery kits and you guys, I'm so excited for it. So I may go ahead and do that and then see how I'm feeling next week. Um, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, I had to take Ozzy to the lake so that he'd leave me alone. Um, long enough for me to hopefully make something to eat and then foil these for the rest of the night. Um, I wanted to show you guys though, the reason I hopped on here, I got a new harness in the mail for Oz and he won't let me put it on him, so that's fun, but it's this guy. Actually, he's laying down, so maybe I can grab him. It's this. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. Are you done? Um, anyway, so it is Wednesday. The vlog is probably going to be pretty short this week. Um, mom is gone, I keep saying that, but she is. And that means I'm super stressed out, so, and I've got a ton of work, and I'm basically working from the time that I get up with like a small couple of breaks in between until the time I go to bed. So, um, <clears throat> yesterday I got a delivery from Amazon, and then today I have got, actually maybe this vlog will be normal because I have that. I have a Grove Collaborative order coming in um, today. I have got another Amazon shipment, I've got a Chewy.com shipment, and I've got a Gymshark shipment. All of that's supposed to be here at some point today. So, yesterday Amazon came um, and it was my duvet cover. So, I picked this up from Amazon. It was, it was maybe, whew, I'm gonna have to look. It was maybe $25, maybe $30. It wasn't much. It is Amazon's brand. Um, they're Amazon Basics. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is, I'm trying to get to it and it's taking me forever. Um, <clears throat> there it is. So for a king size, it was $24.99, which is super cheap. Um, it's supposed to be microfiber. It's not the best thing I've ever felt, but it was also $25. So 
Uh, this is it right here. It is like a white and taupey striped color. Um, and another thing, I wanted to do like one of the cheaper ones of these because I don't know if it's going to work the way that I think it's going to work where if he jumps on it covered in mud, um, I can get that out just by washing it. So I figured let's try it with a cheap one, see what happens. If I end up, you know, liking how this works out, I may get a nicer one. I've been looking at the ones at Brooklinen and they look so nice, but they are so pricey. Um, so I'm going to put this onto the bed. I'll show you guys once I'm done. I don't want to set the tripod up and everything because, like I said, I'm cutting. Um, and I'm kind of just, like, getting things done right now while I'm cutting $2 Tuesday sheets because they take forever. I also pulled out uh, spring and summer stuff from underneath the bed. I want to go ahead and get all of this hung. I think I'm going to wash it all first just because it's been, like, in storage under the bed. I went ahead and pulled all that out. Hey, guys. So it is now about 3 so the grove box just came i'm gonna open that with you guys in just a minute i've got a pretty bad migraine but the chewy box came as well my hair looks insane and i want to go ahead and open this for oz um so that maybe he'll leave me alone <laughs> hey guys so i wanted to go ahead and show you what i got from grove um like i mentioned before this is the first order and then i've got another order coming um, I did pre-order the spring sets that they had, um, which were like, they had a cleaning caddy, they had like the tray, all of that in this really pretty wildflower pattern. And then I also ordered some more like lilac and peony, peony, um, this is Meyer scents, just to have some backups. So that will be here next week, so it'll definitely be in the next vlog. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really remember what I ordered in this box. I know I got laundry stuff because I was running low. Um, I switched over to the seventh generation free and clear laundry detergent a couple of weeks ago. Oh, mom, I'm sorry. I just, I just did this and she's gonna have a heart attack when she watches this. Um, anyway, so I switched over to that. I've been liking it. I mean, I don't have a reaction to anything like that, um, laundry detergent wise. But, wow, look at that receipt. Um, but I don't like how messy it is. I used to use the pods. Um, they weren't Tide Pods. They were something else, though. You know, just the little ones that you would throw in. And I decided that those were just too expensive. I know that they charge a lot just because they're in that form. So I wanted to go ahead and switch over to something as well. Let me let Oz out. that didn't have all of the chemicals and all that, so it seems like a good time. I went ahead and switched over to that, but it's a mess to pour, I can't stand that. So I've got one in here that is method that you squirt, so I'll get to that whenever I get to it. But um, I do have a, oh, I remember, oh. Oh, okay. I kind of starting to remember what I picked up. Anyway, I do have a code that if you guys want to use, it's linked down below. Not a code, but a referral link. It will get you some free stuff. It will give me like a $10 credit to Grove or something like that. But I do appreciate when you guys use any links like that that I've got. I don't have many. I've got Erin Condren, Grove, and HelloFresh. That's all that I have that's like an actual referral code. But you guys will get some free stuff if you use that. And then I believe also $10 off of your next order. So... That is down in the description. I'm going to get all this out of my way really quickly. Ugh. I now have so many boxes everywhere. Um, just a good bit in this box. So, okay, well, let's get started. I'm just trying to get stuff out of the way right now. So I know that the very first thing that I got, this is something that I'm going to keep on a subscription through Grove, um, is paper towels. So, unfortunately, none of this has pricing on it. Yeah, none of this has pricing. But these are tree-free paper towels. And just that's what I was, like, squishing when I was opening the box. So, there's two in each. I thought I just got a six-pack, two-pack. Maybe I didn't get a six-pack because I don't have room. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this out because they sent me three packs of these paper towels anyway 
So these are uh, made from 100% uh, sustainable bamboo and sugar cane, and they're really squishy, like the Viva ones. Um, I've never tried these before, so I am gonna just cut one open and feel it. I'm pretty picky about paper towels, which is a really weird thing to be picky about. Oh, okay, so they're not soft like the Viva, but they are, I mean, they feel like normal paper towels, so that's, I mean, that's good. Um, I worried that because they didn't have you know, the tree or the paper, although it says tree free, but is bamboo not a tree? Maybe it's a plant. <laughs> anyway, this has been much too long about this. This right here, paper towels, first thing. Um, and like I said, that's something I'm just gonna keep on subscription for growth. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do the laundry detergent and all that so that I don't have to remember to pick it up. And I just looked, so I did get the six pack, but the six pack is three of the two packs, which I actually prefer, it doesn't take as much room. Um, okay, moving on. So the next thing that I got were these cellulose sponge cloths. So I got these, and then I know I got cellulose sponges, which I'm guessing are these. I wanted to try just a couple of different ones. Um, I don't have any microfiber, well there's microfiber cloths in here, but before that, the only microfiber cloths that I had were a couple that I had picked up from I can't remember where, so I don't know where to buy more. Um, and then the ones that I got from the Dollar Tree, which those are not, I wouldn't buy those again. Um, I may have just sliced into this, one, but anyway, so these are cellulose. Ooh, wow, these feel nice. They feel wet, which they smell funny, but I don't think they are wet. So, oh my gosh, they have to be wet. Anyway, so it says that these can be used just like a paper towel, and then also it says do not use to clean aquariums, which, what? Anyway, they have non-toxic dyes, plant-based cellulose. Um, they are supposed to get wet before using. You can microwave them to disinfect them, and you can also put them in the dishwasher, which is kind of cool, right? That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so it says that these are basically just to reduce paper towel waste. So that's why I wanted them. I feel like I try to not use a ton of paper towels, especially if it's something like counters. That's why I've kind of started going towards the microfiber cloths and all that. I swear these are wet. They just feel so strange. But anyway, so that's one reason I picked these up. Um, it's supposed to be something that you can really just keep using over and over again. I think they were like three bucks and there was three in it, so not bad at all. So I grabbed those. I'm trying to just make a pile over here to my right. And then I got these cellulose sponges, which I don't think these are the same thing as that. Oh, these feel wet as well. Why do things in here feel wet? They're both, okay, so let me stop. They're both in completely sealed bags, so maybe it's just the cellulose thing. So I'm, these smell really good. These are cellulose sponges. These are Grove brands, and these are not like that. I don't think that, these are what I've been using to wash dishes. They sent me free ones, but the ones I have on the top have like the coconut scrubber. These have just the sponge, um, which I don't really use the scrubby part, so I wanted them to just have these. So, these are the Grove Collaborative Cellulose Sponges, and then those over there were the Squeeze Cellulose Sponge Cloths. So, uh, yeah, so just plain sponges. I just really, really like these. Um, these have replaced, or the ones that I have, which I still am using the first one that came in that other box, and it still looks brand new. Um, but these are just to replace any other sponges I had. I do wanna keep one of these in my cleaning caddy for when I do like the bathtub. I like to have a sponge that's specifically for that, so that's what these are for. I need to get some of this trash. Well, I guess I can move it. So the next thing that I have is, I don't think I ordered this, so I'm gonna assume that this was free. Okay, so I got two things in here that were free. I believe that this was free because I spent $50 and I've got one of these and I love it. Um, I'm gonna put this one into the bathroom. I just really like that when stuff drips, it drips onto this and not onto my counter and then this is pretty easy to clean off. So this is just another one of those trays. This is the pomegranate one again, and this was free. Um, and I think it was because I spent 50 bucks. But I keep the one that I have now on my kitchen sink, and then when I'm putting like when, I, when I'm putting back my dish soap, 
my spray, the hand wash, anything like that, if it's wet on the bottom, it gets onto this instead of sinking into my granite. And I just prefer that. So I'm gonna put one of these in the bathroom and then I do have another one of these on the way for that wildflower, the new spring ones. That was free and then I do have one more thing that was free in here, so let me go ahead and grab it. Oh, here was the cover. This had come off of the um, other cellulose sponges. So. Also, these cellulose sponges, it says, can also be put in the dishwasher, which is pretty cool. This was free as well. This is a lavender, lav I cannot talk today. Lavender and oatmeal bar soap, and I can smell it from here, and it smells really, really nice. Oh my, yeah, that smells great. So it looks really nice too. Um, that was free because I don't even know why. I think it was just the VIP like member, here's your free thing. I'm pretty sure that if you're VIP, you get a free gift every time you order. And then if you like order more than $50 is when you get something like this. I've even got a little thing here right now that came with this box that's telling me that on my next order, I will get this free facial towelette. So, I mean, that's cool. They always seem to send like a little something with your orders, which I think is really neat. Anyway, moving on. Next thing that I got, <laughs> and I'm kind of starting to acquire a lot of trash in this box now. I picked up a pumice stone. This is their brand, Groves brand, um, for my feet. I mean, that's, it's for my feet. I don't, there's nothing else to say about that. Um, the next thing that I got are these method dryer sheets. I was almost out of dryer sheets. So, hmm, wow, those are different. So these are beach sage. They don't smell bad. They're incredibly strong. But I don't think I've ever used a dryer sheet that once I've gotten my clothes out of the um, dryer, I've still like smelled them afterwards. So, I mean, it smells nice. It's just, it's really strong. Um, the next thing that I got, this came with something else. So let's, yeah, okay. So I got this as a pack. I had picked up or was wanting to pick up these microfiber cloths from Grove, which already feeling them, these are amazing. This is what I wanted, was like a really nice microfiber set. But they had it as a bundle with this which is the real simple washing machine cleaner so these two came together for i think 14 dollars, and just these were like eight so i wanted something to clean the washing machine because i have a front loading washer and dryer and they were new when i bought the house but it's been about a year now and i've tried to really get in and clean like around that pla that rubbery rim around the washer and it's just gross so i wanted to get something that was made to actually clean that also i pulled out the tray because like i said i've been using the things that you just toss in i pulled out the tray to put in some laundry detergent and there was like black stuff in it i'm hoping that wasn't mold so i ended up pulling that whole piece out bringing it out here and like actually scrubbing it in the sink but that really grossed me out too so that could have also been build up though from using those pods Anyway, so these are the microfiber all-purpose. I got slate gray and I can already tell you these just feel amazing Yeah, so these are really nice and thick to be honest This feels like my diva curl towel um, Yeah, so two of those I like how they have this little hooky guy if you wanted to you know hook it somewhere um, But yeah, so two of those and then I got Okay, so when I went to the dollar store, I showed you guys, I got that dish drying mat at the dollar store, and it's been totally fine. Like, it's fine, but it's small. Um, I wanted something a little bit bigger, and I also am gonna keep that one still, even though I got this one. But this one, I think, is supposed to be a bit bigger, and this is just a dish drying mat. It is just a gray and white stripe. I thought it was really cute, and... Uh oh this one feels like linen. Oh, I see, the other side doesn't. So yeah, this one is just bigger, that's all. Um, and it feels really nice. It's pretty thin, but I'm guessing that this back layer is what kind of stops all the water and stuff. But yeah, um, I, so I do still have the one that I bought and I'm gonna keep using it too, like it's just overflow. The thing is, the only thing that I really hand wash are pots and pans. So I need kind of like more space to set those on since they are bigger. 
But yeah, so this I think was $10, which that was a dollar. I could have technically just got a couple more of those, but um, I liked how this looked and it was coming with all this other stuff. So I figured I'd go ahead and get it. The next thing that I got is toothpaste. Um, so this is the Hello Activated Charcoal with fresh mint and coconut oil fluoride toothpaste. I don't know. I was low on toothpaste. I like that this doesn't have, okay, so it has no peroxide, no artificial sweeteners, no dyes, no sulfates. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I figured I would try it out um, and I was getting low. So I'll let you guys know if you care uh, how I feel about it, but I don't know. It just seemed like something that I would, you know, try and it's black. Like it's actually black, like the charcoal um, that you see people like on Instagram with their mouths all like full of it, that it's actually black like that. Hmm. So. Yeah, we'll see how that works. I don't know. Um, and then I did get a new spray from Caldrea. So if you watched my last grow video, I talked about these products and that they are pretty pricey. Um, the spray is $10, that is the cheapest thing, and then I had also gotten some room spray, some hand soap, and the, the spray was $14, and the soap was like $12. All of them are totally worth it, and I hate that they are, because it just seems, it's so expensive, but the sea salt neroli one is my favorite, and that is the one that I've got in the kitchen. It is almost empty. You guys can see how much of this I actually use. Like I've been using it and it smells so good. I 100% am going to be repurchasing this one. Um, for the hand soap, I got Sweet Pea. It's good, but it's not something that I would want to pay that much again for that scent. I got the rose water something or another that I use in the bathroom that's a spray. It's really good as well. I still prefer that. Um, and then I got the lavender and cedarwood room spray for the bedding in my bedroom and I do love that and I will repurchase that one as well. Um, but this one is the pear blossom agave. So I'm going to sniff it and see. Wow. <sighs> They're all so good. <laughs> I will say that the sea salt neroli is still my favorite. I think it's such a clean scent um, without being like florally at all. If that makes sense, I like the floral scents, but this one just smells, gosh, I just love it so much. It smells so clean and it's really neutral. It's almost masculine. Whereas all of the other ones that I've tried have been very feminine. This one, if you're gonna try one, I strongly suggest this one. It is just amazing. But I do like the way that this pear one smells. It smells nice as well. Yeah, it actually smells really nice too. But I'm actually on my next box, I think, going to pick up a whole set of the sea salt neroli. They do have ones that have the spray, the hand soap, the dish soap, and they come with a grove tray, like the one I just showed, but white. I think I'm gonna get one of those, and then they do have fabric softener as well as um, actual laundry detergent. I may try one or the other. They are really pricey, so I'm not sure yet, but maybe. Okay, this is the next thing I got. So this is the Method Free and Clear Laundry Detergent, and it has a pump, which is the, why I bought it. So two pumps for a small load, four pumps for a medium load, six pumps for a large load. I like anything that makes my life easier. And not having laundry detergent spilling everywhere makes my life easier. So as you can see, I'm not gonna do it, but just pump it directly into the thing. I mean, it works for me. Let's see how it smells. I bought free and clear, so this may not even have a scent. Not really. It's, I mean, it has like a very like light soap scent, but that's it. I didn't think this one was supposed to smell like anything. Um, and one reason that I did that, bought one without any scent, was because I did pick up the Mrs. Meyers Honeysuckle Fabric Softener. I like the Honeysuckle scent a lot. I think it's really nice. So, I figured. Also, I really like that Grove does this to all of the products that could spill. Um, they put that tape around it so that nothing is going to leak in this box. And I really appreciate that they do that because I've said before, I've had things come from Amazon where a couple of things had come undone and spilled all in the box. 
So I really like that they do this. Um, let's see, here we go. So yeah, this goes in the actual washing machine. I have never used fabric softener like that, or at all, now that I think about it. So, hmm. That smells a little bit different than I feel like the normal honeysuckle smells like. It smells good, it kinda smells like jelly beans. <laughs> but anyway, so I grabbed that. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I got in this box. Like I said, it was mostly laundry stuff. Um, but I do have another one coming and it is all of their brand new like spring stuff Which I'm so excited about I got um, I'm not proud of it, but I got Two of the bundles for the wildflower sets one was the guest bathroom bundle It had like a hand soap a tray and then like a room spray from mrs. Myers and then I got the big bundle that came with like everything um and I only did that because I wanted another caddy. I wanted another tray other than this one because that'll give me one for each room or each place that there's a sink. And then it came with the towels. Um, it came with the scrubber. Like it came with a whole bunch of stuff and I'll show it to you guys when it gets here. But anyway, this is everything that I got from Grove for this box. Um, if you're interested, again, I'll have a link down below where you guys can get some free stuff. And um, I'm gonna go continue cutting $2 Tuesday items because that's all I've done for the past three days. I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, it is currently Saturday. It is about 2 p.m. Two, two, oh, it's about 3 p.m. So, Ozzy has a new ball. Just if, that, if you hear that noise, the ball talks. I don't know why I bought that. Um, anyway, so it's about three o'clock. I finished as many of the $2 Tuesday orders as I could this morning and then took them out to the post office in Asheville. They have a noon pickup time, but the one here in Canton has one at 10 a.m., which is too early. So I continued as long as I could and then drove out to Asheville. So since I was already in Asheville, I decided to run by Hobby Lobby, Target, World Market. They're all like in the same little section. So I decided to do that while I was out there. Um, I wasn't gone very long though. I left at like 11.45, I wanna say. Um, and I've been home for a minute. I've not just, I've, like I've been home for a minute. So I didn't pick up much. I almost got the cutest thing at Hobby Lobby. I didn't need it. Um, not that I needed any of this, but let's see if I can show you. So it was this, this, it was like a two-tiered tray that I would have put in the kitchen and the ends of it had this really pretty like cathedral galvanized metal. <sighs> it was $70 but 40% off, so it wasn't awful, but it's just something else to put on my kitchen counter and I don't really need anything else. And then I was like, you know what, let me decorate it really quickly and see how I feel. So I started grabbing things and putting them on there. Um, this was like a couple of things that I had put on top of it. It was really cute, but I just, I didn't need it, so I didn't get it. Um, and I figure I'm gonna think about it for a while because <sighs> I want it. I just, there's no reason. None at all. Anyway, so I didn't get that at Hobby Lobby, but I did pick up one thing at Hobby Lobby. I've been wanting one of these for a while. Um, also my grow box is right here. That's what I'm about to do, but this is just a big like serving tray, it has handles. It was originally $40, but was 40% off. I think I paid with tax like 25 bucks. Um, so not bad, it's really pretty, and I just wanted this for in the kitchen. I don't know yet even what I'm gonna do with it, to be honest, but I've almost picked one of these up in quite a few other places, and they've always been way more than $25. So I thought it was a really good deal. I also really liked the tone of the wood. So I got that at Hobby Lobby. I'm just gonna set that back there. Um, at Target, I did pick up some stuff for Oz, some bones. He was out. Um, I grabbed a pizza, which is sitting right here because it's 3 p.m. and I've not eaten today. Um, and I'm beginning keto probably Monday, so that's fun. Um, anyway, so I picked this up at Target. This is a new brand that I've not seen there before. The brand is called Knox Rose. And to be honest, sorry, this grow box is in the way. Everything from it really just to me looks like free people. It was all so beautiful. So this is the shirt that I grabbed. Um, it's like a three quarter length sleeve and it's even got these really pretty little like buttons. It's super soft. I like every little detail about it. Like it's so pretty. 
Um, and it was $25, which for something that looks so similar to like Free People, isn't bad. And even the interior where the tag and everything is, is just really pretty. I got a medium, which might end up being a bit big, but I wanted it pretty lo loose and flowy. And that's why I went ahead and grabbed a medium. Things can be kind of tight across like my chest area. So yeah, and it's really soft. Um, I honestly, like I saw so many things from the brand that I really liked, but a lot of it was more false, like sweater type stuff. So I went with this cause it's super lightweight. Um, I got this and then I also got a garlic press, a potato masher because for some reason I don't have those two things and then just some bones for Oz. I also had gone to Target, I don't know, Wednesday maybe? I needed a couple of things, had to go out to Asheville anyway and Brian was with me so we went ahead and ran by Target. I wanted to show you guys this. I looked for another one of these today because I went to a different Target. I got this and this is from Simple Modern. I am obsessed with this bottle. I love the pattern. If you guys can see, it's just so beautiful. And then it has a handle lid, like you can hold this, or, well not or, this is how you drink out of it, but it has this little straw lid. And I really like this because it doesn't spill. It can be tilted like pretty much, okay, a little bit came out, but. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's supposed to be tilted with the straw open. Either way, it doesn't spill. The other bottle that I got that was from Swell, that really pretty rose gold one, leaks all over the place. It just, like, around where this is, it doesn't have a seal, and it just leaks everywhere. Um, I've been using this one for a few days now, and I love it. Um, I, I randomly found this, and I think it was, like, $15, which for this kind of bottle is somewhat cheap. Um, I like how it feels. I just like it a lot. I wanted to show it to you guys. So if you see one of these in your local Target, this is awesome. Um, and I'm going to keep an eye out for more. But like I said, I didn't see any of them today when I went. Okay, so I stopped at Pier 1 and I grabbed this. Um, I had a 25% off coupon. This was originally $25. I believe I paid $20.05. Um, I love this. So it's just a throw blanket. I'm wanting to redo the living room for like spring slash summer. At least I wanna add in some stuff. So I have based this entire house around everything being very neutral. And now I'm deciding I wanna put some color in. Um, and the good news is I can add color without like throwing anything else off. So this obviously has no color in it. I was looking for blush pink pillows for the couch. I really want to get some blush pink pillows. I've checked a few different places. I'm not finding the right tone of pink. Um, so yeah, but this was 20 bucks with that coupon and I really like how it looks. I have been looking for a quilt now for the bed. The duvet thing did not work out for me. Um, so I'm thinking a quilt would be easy to wash. I can't find one that I really like a lot. Um, I found a couple in Target, but they're not just everything. <laughs> and this, if it's big enough, I may, instead of doing what I wanted to do, which was put it over the chase part of the couch or even the back of the couch, I may end up putting this on the bed. I just, I don't know how big it is. 50 by 60. We'll see. Um, but anyway, so this one was a really good deal as well. I, I really like it. It's not soft or anything, um, but I love the pattern that's on it. And to go with the rug out here, I thought would look super pretty. Plus I want to do the blush pillows. And I think that just with the black and everything, it'll look super cute if I end up using this on the couch. Um, okay. And then my, my big grove order is here. Okay. So this is the order that had all of the spring pre-sale items. I'm so excited for this. So I'm going to kind of adjust where the tripod is because you guys are kind of close to me. Um, so I'm gonna push you guys back just a bit so that maybe you can see a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. So let's get this open. Um, so like I said, I did the pre-order for quite a few items um, from the spring collection that included, Ozzy wants back in, the new Michael, or Michael, oh my God, the new Michael Myers scents. The new Miss Myers scents, um, which I've at this point gotten from Target, but there were some other things like the room fresheners. I actually finally found the room fresheners at Target the other day. They were just hidden in a random cleaning aisle on the side of one. Like not the end aisles, but like in the side of one. It was so strange and they had them. Um, that's the first time I've ever seen the room fresheners there, but maybe I've been looking in the wrong place. They weren't with the air fresheners. They weren't near the air fresheners. They were just in a totally random place. Um, I'm gonna let Ozzy in really quick. Okay, so I did get, well, I'll show you guys. 
I did get some of the Mrs. Myers things. I didn't go crazy because like I said, I picked some up at Target and I'm gonna continue to just kind of like stock up on them every time I go. Um, out of the regular Mrs. Myers scents, like the basic always available, the only one that I really like is Honeysuckle and I'm not like crazy about it. I do like a lot of the winter slash fall scents. Those are good. And then I've, I love the spring scents. So I try to just kind of stock up so that I'm not using ones that I don't, you know, really love. So I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to put this box on the floor to begin with. Okay, I know I just said that I didn't buy a ton of Mrs. Myers stuff, but I just saw the inside of this box. I'm gonna show you guys, cause I don't remember doing this. Okay. All of that looks to be Mrs. Myers things. So, okay, so let's, I'm gonna look at this really quickly. I did buy some dish soap, hand soap, multi-surface cleaner, all in lilac. I got the Mrs. Myers bubble up set in wildflower. What is, oh, wildflower is the fancy, the new thing, okay. Cleaning caddy, European dishcloths, reusable. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is my receipt. So it looks, it looks like everything is really broken up by, I told you I bought that huge like set that had all of this stuff. Everything is broken up into like what it is instead of just saying, hey, the whole set. Um, yeah, we're just gonna get into it because I don't, I don't know exactly how to read this yet. So, I have got, I don't remember getting, I've got two of the new stoneware trays. I know that one came with the huge set that I purchased, and then one came with the guest bathroom set, which was a stone tray, I believe a hand soap, and a, like a, a room spray. So, oh my goodness. This is the like spring grove things. Oh my, you guys, and this is the wildflower. How gorgeous is that? So this is the pattern that's on all of it. The, the trays, the caddy, the towels, all of that. If you guys are interested in picking anything up from Grove, I do have a referral link that is in the description box. You guys will get some free stuff. And then I believe also on your next order, you'll get 10 extra dollars off. Or not the first order, but the next one. So if you guys are interested in that, that link is in the description box. So I got two of these because I bought two different sets that included them. I'm just gonna go through everything right now that came in all of these sets. So this is, this got a little bit squished. This is the European dish cloth. And this feels just like one of those cellulose cloths to be totally honest. Okay, so these can go into the dishwasher but they do have that really pretty um, pattern and then on the back as well. Super cute. So this was part of the big set. Also part of the big set were these. I don't know if I'll use these, but maybe. So these are reusable storage bags with that same wildflower pattern. Um, so these are just, it says sustainably made, food safe, BPA free material, reusable bags. So maybe I will. Maybe I can put um, like extra food. These are super cute, um, especially if you like took your lunch with you or you had a child that took lunch. But these came with that big set as well, really cute. The next thing that came with that big set is this microfiber tea towel. Again, that really pretty pattern. And then, I'm gonna get this whole, oh, we got more. There's another microfiber tea towel. <laughs> I think that the set that I bought was like, the biggest set that they had because I wanted the caddy, I wanted the trays, I wanted the scrubby thing. I'll show you guys, let me keep going. So, when you use Grove and you're a VIP, which is what I am, um, you get free things like every time you order. So the very, like I got these free Rooted Beauty purifying facial towelettes with white tea and cal calendula, calunda. Killing, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, so these came free with my orders. So free makeup wipes, which is awesome. Last time I got like free soap and free something else. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so the next thing that's in here is a soap. But this did come with this. So this is all part of the wildflower set as well. I want to smell it. Never mind, I can smell it through the thing. It's 
smells really good. I've actually really been liking that lavender oatmeal soap that came, which isn't something I normally use. I have not used a bar soap in I don't know how long, but I put it in the tub so that when I take bubble baths, I have it, and I've really, really been liking it. It smells amazing. So this was part of that wildflower set. This I'm so excited about because I wanted to order this um, in just the plain white, and then I saw that they came out with the wildflower one as part of this huge set, so here we are. Um, this is the Bubble Up Soap Dispenser and Dish Brush Set. And I'm really excited to try this out. So what it is, oh, you guys, it's so beautiful. So you just kind of set this at the top of the sink. Oh, that's so smart. Okay, so you've got your little brush. So it's, there it went. So you've got your little brush here, and this is for dishes, and it just says Grove up top. Feels nice. And then what this is, is just a little container, but in here is this guy. So what you do is you fill this with dish soap, and then when you use this, you just push down into it, and it just kind of goes down, and all these little holes, it just squirts you some dish soap up. How cool is that? I thought it was a super good idea, and I really, really love the wildflower. If you guys watch my videos, you know how much I love anything floral. So this one, when I saw it, I just had to have it for spring and summer. So yeah, that was also part of that set. And then I've got the caddy, which I was gonna order another caddy anyway. I have the one that I got from my first Grove order in my bathroom, but I wanted one for the other bathroom, and then I also wanna pick up one more to keep in the kitchen. So, oh, it's so pretty. This is the Wildflower Caddy. And it's beautiful. I just love it so much. I love these little cleaning caddies. I think that they are great and they're not too big. So I generally just keep like a microfiber cloth, a couple of different cleaners um, and like a scrubby, like a scrubber type thing in these. Um, but yeah, so this is the wildflower caddy and it is, it's beautiful. Um, all of this stuff that I'm showing, I purchased it as a pre-order in one big set and it also came with some Mrs. Meyer stuff. But all of this stuff is available just by itself as well. You don't have to buy the whole set the way that I did. Um, because it was a pre-order and because I'm VIP, I ended up getting, I think, like 20 or 30% off by buying it that way. And that's why I did it, even though there are a couple things in here that I don't know that I'll use. Um, mostly just the plastic baggies, although I think I can find a use for them. Um, it was still way cheaper for me to do it this way than to pick up everything individually anyway. But I may pick up an extra caddy with that, that pretty wildflower pattern. I know I just said I didn't buy. I didn't think that I bought. Oops, very much Mrs. Myers. But, um, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, so what happened was part of this came in a set. So let's say the lilac counter spray, the lilac dish soap, the lilac hand soap, and then the lilac room spray. Why did I buy extras? These all came with that big set. And then the peony, peony room spray and hand soap came with the other set that came with just these two in the tray. So on top of that, I apparently ordered another extra each of room sprays, extra dish soap, extra hand soap, and extra surface sprays. I didn't know I did that. I mean, I knew I must have known I did it at the time, but well, I mean, I'll use it, so it's okay. Um, but. I did order one other thing that wasn't part of all this um, Mrs. Myers and Grove stuff. So let me pull this out really quickly. I actually picked up something kind of similar to this at Target because I forgot that I did this. And this is just a waterless pet shampoo. Um, the one I got at Target is like a pump, but this is a spray. And it is lavender center scented. Oh my goodness. And apparently it got shook up. Smells good. Um, okay, I need a paper towel. Okay, yeah, so apparently it had just been like shaken up a little bit because I just got the top twisted off and it's okay now. Um, but yeah, so this 
is for Ozzy, obviously. He gets so muddy in the backyard. And then also when we go to the LAKE, he is a boy, so he pees on everything. And when we get back, I guess it's just from him lifting his leg. It's just, he smells awful. I can't give him a bath every single day, obviously. So I wanted to get something like this. Um, I like the one from Target. He, it's like a foam. So you squirt it in your hands and you've got all of this foam and then you have to rub it on him. He tried to eat that. So this might work a little bit better, but yeah. So this is just the Paw Sense lavender scented waterless pet shampoo and maybe this will be a little bit easier who knows um but yeah so that is everything i picked up from grove um if you guys like i said want to pick anything up i've got the link in the description below you can get some free stuff um i'm really excited now i want to go clean so that may be what ends up happening for the rest of the day i am going to take him to the lake and uh work more on mass printing some things the only $2 Tuesday items I have got left to do, I have maybe five orders that need to be finished. So I am working on something else for something else that I can't talk about yet. And then I'm going to go ahead and mass print all of the succulent kits from last week. So I'm trying to get caught up to where I'm in a good place. Um, I really just need for mom to get back home though. But yeah, so that is what my Saturday is looking like. And I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, it is Sunday. Um, I did my hair, which I'm sure is like the first thing you guys saw. Um, I hadn't actually done it the way that I would normally wear it since I got it done. And I wanted to really see like the color because I, it's been straight since then. I don't wear my hair straight though, so I don't really like, I just don't like how it looks straight. I don't mind it so much when it's not cut so terribly, but that's my fault, I did that. Um, anyway, so I wanted to get up this morning and do this. Also, I've got some errands to run later. But anyway, so I love the color. Like, when it's curly, it's really hard to tell. And it's also really hard to tell, like, how nicely it is, like, blended together. I don't know the terms for it, but it looks really, really pretty, um, the color does. So I like that a lot. So, yeah, anyway, um... Also, I'll, the, the girl that did it, hang on, she has a really pretty Instagram feed um, of hair. <laughs> Mom was actually even commenting on that before I went. So I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, if you'd like just like hair. Yeah, so she just has a really gorgeous feed if that is something you like to look at. Um, it's hand painted by Lauren. I'll link, or I'll leave the, the handle down below. But anyway, that's who did it. Um, and I think that maybe in a couple of months, I, I'm gonna go back and try to get it even lighter. I feel like the pieces that are light are great. Like they're a great color. She got it really ashy, which is what I wanted, but I want more of it to be lighter, if that makes any sense. Um, I have done my own hair for the longest time. I've never let anybody touch it. I mean, I'm talking like 10 plus years, but I really love how she did it. And also she's a total sweetheart. Like I didn't mind to sit there for six hours with her. So that was nice. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at this. I still want it really dark up top, but I want more lightness like through the whole bottom half. But I do really like how this looks though. I think it's super pretty. Um, anyway, like I said, it's Sunday and I am stressed out to like up here. <laughs> um, I just printed the labels for the very last $2 Tuesday items, which I am so excited that those are done. That has almost killed me. Um, I feel like when mom is gone, I'm always working way more, but the amount of those that we sold and just the way that there's all these different foil colors and all of these different options, it just really messed me up. Like really, cause she had done half of them about before I left. Everything else isn't such a big deal, but to try to get through those was absolutely awful. So I just did the last of those. I've got a stack of about a hundred other orders from the birthday sale, last week's $2 Tuesday, which was pink and blue clear foil. 
and then just other random things in between orders that came in so what I did is I went ahead and I pulled out everything that had succulent because I haven't started on that yet and I'm gonna try to get through all of those other orders so there are about a hundred maybe more um, so Brian is currently on his way over here he is going to entertain Ozzy so that I can get this done um, I'm gonna try to get through as much of it as I can I don't know that I'll be able to pull all hundred or hundred ish um, today because I also need to do freebies for it but I'm going to do my best and that will at least set me up to be in a good place tomorrow to get started so I can go ahead and start mass printing succulents I don't think it's gonna take me very long to get through all of those because it's just you know three sizes in two paper types instead of the way that two dollar Tuesday is literally so many options so <sighs> yeah and then after I get through succulent we have April mystery which was a pre-sale that doesn't need to be shipped until April 1st. I am going to get started on those if I'm able to get through everything in time. Otherwise, I'm going to just wait until mom gets back because she gets back, I think, the 27th. And they're supposed to ship the 1st, but um, she'll have no issue foiling through them all in a day. So it's just the foiling plus the cutting that is really throwing me off. Um, generally, while she's foiling, I'm cutting. So we're kind of getting double the work done. And this has just been... It's been awful um, and I feel like I really need a vacation but yeah so that's what I'm gonna work on today um, he's on his way to watch Ozzy because Ozzy just can't handle not having all of the attention on him all the time um, but yeah so then we're gonna go to the lake I am starting keto in the morning so we're gonna go to Publix and get some groceries um, I may do a little bit of a haul when I get back because I am doing keto slightly differently this time. I normally would only eat the same couple of things over and over again, but I got a cookbook, um, a keto cookbook, and a lot of the stuff looks really good. And I'm going to try out some things that I haven't tried before, like zoodles and whatnot. I really love zucchini, so I think I might like that a lot. Um, but there's some really good recipes, or some recipes that look really good in that book. So I'm going to actually be trying like a different recipe every day. And maybe I'll do a whole separate video if you guys I, I know I've had a lot of questions about it if you guys are interested in Like a what I eat in a Couple of days a week on keto. Let me know down below and I'll film that video for you guys It's not going to be like an instructional video, but I will like show you guys what it is exactly that I'm eating in a day um, I need to go in and calculate my macros because I have gained back a good bit of weight um, somebody had asked me how I didn't gain it all back immediately and honestly I don't know I've been off of keto now since the beginning of November so November December January February Mar almost five months and I've just now at this point gotten to where all of the new pants that I had to to buy are not fitting me again um, when I started keto last time I dropped the weight pretty quickly to the point that I could take the jeans I had been wearing and just pull them off of myself. Um, so I had to go buy all new jeans. Now those jeans that I had gone and bought hadn't fit, but that took almost five months for that to happen. And they do, like I can get them up and button them. They're just not comfortable. So uh, yeah, so I just need to get back on keto. I want to lose like maybe 10 pounds again, and then I'm probably just going to go back. I know that's not the best thing to do, but that's what I'm going to do. Um, generally when I go back on keto, it's because I'm not feeling well, but the way that I've been eating with HelloFresh and then decently well for like breakfast is always like oatmeal and then lunch is where I think I'm gaining all of my weight. Um, cause I generally do like a panini and some, some lemon Oreos, a bunch of lemon Oreos. <laughs> I've not been eating out. Um, I've not been doing any fast food, which was my issue before. I've been cooking a ton at home, and I feel really, really good. I have a ton of energy. I'm not getting migraines really often. Um, I feel great. So that isn't the problem this time. I just need to lose like 10-ish pounds so that my clothes fit again, and then cut back on the sweets after I quit keto again, and I think I'll be okay. Um, but that's what I'm going to try. I've also been working out a lot, so I, I know that's helping with the energy and with my mood and everything. But I also think that once I stop keto, I won't put this weight back on. Not that I put it on quickly anyway. It took five months. But I think I'll be able to maintain a lot better because I am, you know, doing the yoga. Um, Oz and I are walking all the time. Stuff like that. I think it'll be all right. So... I'm going to stop blabbering and go get this work done, and yeah, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, it is currently Tuesday night, and I am editing this vlog. It is going up a bit late. I just wanted to say 
I'm sorry for how long this is, um, and it's basically one big haul. So yeah, that's, I guess that was kind of the only time I grabbed the camera this week. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to hop on and do like a little outro because I totally forgot that. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye guys.